Okay, everybody, welcome to our team meeting or team Zoom. My name is Harlequin Murray, and I get to introduce our senior team leader, Miss Ellen Wynn. And um, just a little bit of background for those of you who are new to our team. Um, she grew up here in the Atlanta, Georgia area on her family farm and left there and became a corporate trainer and operations director for Domino's Pizza. And then in 1997, she left the corporate world to open her own restaurant and has been a business owner ever since. Now, whenever I initially met her, she was the national training director for a network marketing company. And she was also a partner in a huge training center here in the Atlanta area. And, you know, Ellen, she loves people. She loves helping people and training people. But um, she is DAC's first and only area director, as well as um, our senior team leader. So at, without any further ado, I would like to introduce Miss Ellen Wynn. Take awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Harlequin. I appreciate that. I appreciate all of you that have taken time out of your Monday evening to be with us. I'm going to turn or mute my phone right now. Let me do that real quick so I don't have any distractions. Today's been one of those days that every time I hang up the phone, somebody else has been calling. And it's been a very active day for me with clients calling, with new agents calling, and people wanting to get started with us. So it's a great time to be a part of DAC. Thank you, Harlequin. I appreciate that introduction. Harlequin is here with me every single week, helping lead this call. She's been committed to this uh, when I made the commitment in June of last year to start doing these weekly team meetings, she decided she wanted to be a part of that and uh, has been my co-host every single week. So I appreciate her and leadership that she provides to her team. We are both independent agents here, just like you are. So we don't get paid unless you make money and are successful. So just understand that. I don't want people thinking that I'm on the corporate payroll because I'm not. I'm independently out here working my DAC agency just like everyone. So I like to kick these calls off every week by getting the... Uh, team recognition started. So let me pull up my screen. Are you seeing that pretty good, Harlequin? All good? Okay, thank you. Uh, so every week, I like to start off with team recognition. And what we're recognizing is those of you on the team that are recruiting other folks who want to have their own DAC agency. So on the top of the list, we're going to go to the week of November the 11th through November the 17th in first place out of Florida. We had Eugene Clapp with 18 new recruits. Congratulations, Eugene. You edged me out by five. I came in in second place with 13 new recruits. In third place, we had Shamika Brewster with four new recruits. In fourth place, we had Mercy Funds, which is Grace, and her beautiful new baby has three new recruits for the week fifth place, we had a three-way tie with Katina Willis, Eric Johnson, and Mier uh, Bowie, I think. And with that, Mier had, that was uh, their first recruiting whatsoever. So congratulations for making the leaderboard with two new recruits as you're getting out of the starting gate there. All right. And with one new agent apiece, we had Briscoe, William Briscoe. Uh, this was also William's first new recruit. So congratulations, William. We had Marcia Clapp, uh, Contrez Cody, Jackie Evans, Deborah Garcia. That's a first new recruit for Deborah. Congratulations. William Gurney, Sophia Hinton. That's the first new recruit for Sophia. Congratulations, Sophia. Fred Johnson, Keith Kelly Sr., Rudy Payne. Todd Pendley, that's Todd's first new recruit. So congratulations, Todd. We had Laurel Smith, Francisco Sakaris, and Francisco, that's Francisco's first new recruit, as well as Diamond Wiggins with their first new recruit. So congratulations, Diamond. Um, you've been getting after it, girl, so way to go. All right, so those are our new agents that are not our new agents, our agents or agencies who are recruiting and building 
agencies within their DAC agency. So why do you want to do that? Well, when you start building a team and start helping other people get started with their own DAC agency, we're going to give you the opportunity to earn fast start matching bonuses by helping them get their first client in their first 30 days. So uh, that recruiting list is a really big deal, but even a bigger deal is how many people on that new recruit list are going to get a funding in their first 30 days. Because here's how it works. You help a new agent get their first client within their first 30 days, and there is a fast start incentive for you where you're going to get a 50% matching revenue share on what they earn on that first client, okay? If you have had a client of your own in your first 30, in your in the past 30 days where you're considered amped up, where you are eligible for double commissions, then that 50% match goes to 100% match. So essentially, if you help someone earn $600 on their first client, you also can earn up to $600 by helping them get off to a fast start as a new agency and getting their first client in their first 30 days. So that's a really big deal for, for our fast start incentive. Now, I sent this out on the text earlier today, 80% of life is just showing up. And so is 80% of this business. 80% of your success here with DAC is gonna be showing up, showing up to the training, showing up to the new updates and showing up as a business professional when it comes to representing your DAC agency. We've had a phenomenal Saturday training this past week. I've got the link out, it's gone out in email and I will continue sending it out in email. I'm gonna add it to my new agent email series so that everybody in our organization can see all of the processes that we go through to be a successful DAC agency. But a big portion of that is showing up as a professional. And how do you do that? Well you learn our products, you learn the, the lingo, and you learn what the requirements are. David talked about that on our leadership call today. It's something that we talk about every single week. You don't see me in front of the camera talking to you guys till I'm talking about some part of the DAC system. So congratulations for being here tonight. If you're watching this on the replay, congratulations for being here on the replay. Again, 80% of life and success is showing up and being there consistently. All right, so I'm gonna go through the three things that we do here at DAC. It's a real simple business model. We do three things. One, the secret to winning in, success in, in, D, in DAC is to build your own personal client base. It means you gotta go get customers, right? You gotta go find clients. Our revenue share program is all about gathering customers. If you don't bring clients to the table, you're not going to make money here. So uh, the first part of you getting an income established is going out and building your own client base. That's what a successful agency is all about. If you spent money to go buy a franchise or to buy a restaurant or to buy any traditional business, if you spent money, now mind you, don't mistake that because there's no cost to be a DAC agency, right? But I'm giving you the the reference of if you spent money to buy a franchise, the only way that that franchise would be successful is for you to drive clients through the business doors, whether that door be a retail uh, brick and mortar location or whether it be the doors of your online business. And our business is, is simply online. So it's up to you to go find those customers. How do you find those customers? We have to market yourself. You have to have a grand opening. You have to let everybody know that your business is open. And the best way to do that is to follow the training that we did on Saturday, talking about going through your warm market and uh, launching out loud with everyone that you know. So you're not trying to sell them. You're not trying to look for a specific person that is looking for funding today. You're just getting out the information, getting the word out that you now have a DAC agency and you're here to help small businesses when they can't get funding from their local bank, okay? So getting your own clients is number one. And the second thing that we do is, uh-oh, let me go back one, um, is tracking those clients, okay? Tracking them and then doing the follow-up, okay? Because uh, a big part of it is getting the information out there firsthand and then following up on a regular basis, whether it's through your social media, making additional posts, 
or whether it is uh, through emails or text messages or picking up the phone and calling and saying, hey, I just, uh, I think I told you that I have my own business services agency or I have my own funding agency with DAC. But we'll let you know, we just launched a new program or we launched a new product. And it's always a good excuse to follow up and call them back, right, to announce something new. But let's talk about the income that you can earn on your personal clients. And I share this today because I had a young lady in our team today who earned uh, a funding commission on a new client. And unfortunately, that new client came 30 days past when she got her last client. So instead of getting 6% commission on that new client, she only earned 3% commission, okay? So I want you guys here tonight to understand the importance of consistently and constantly having a reach out method going out there to attract new clients. Because it's always a, a sad day to me when I see a, a commission coming in where they just missed it by a few days or a couple of weeks where if they'd gotten that client sooner and had a steady flow of new clients coming in, they would have earned double commission instead of half commission, which is the regular pay plan. So on this chart are some examples from our Super Saturday workbook. Uh, $10,000 monthly funding at 3%, you're gonna make $300. But if you stay amped up, meaning you have a client every 30 days minimum, You'll, you would make $600, right? If you had 80,000 in monthly fundings, instead of 24, it would be 48, 150,000 in fundings. Instead of 4,500, it would be 9,000, right? And 250 in fundings, instead of 7,500, 15,000. Or if you did a half a million dollars in fundings, instead of earning 3%, you would earn I mean, it's at 3% at 15,000, you would earn 6% at 30,000. Now, this monthly fundings example would probably would be just one funding, right? Because um, the first one might be at 3%, but if you continued on getting additional fundings all within a 30 day rolling window, you're going to get that 6% or more because there are additional matching bonuses on top of that. But the point of this is that you understand the value of getting your first client and then continuing to get clients on a 30-day basis, right? If you set the goal of getting a new client one a week as a minimum, even if you fall short of that, I'm sure that you'll end up getting at least one a month. And if you get one a month, you'll always earn that double revenue share being amped up, okay? So I don't wanna see you miss out on any commissions whatsoever. The second step, to winning in DAC is the second thing that we do. Outside of getting personal customers, we're going to launch our business out loud to other agencies and personally enroll other people who want to have a DAC agency here, right? Where you have personally enrolled agencies where you can earn matching bonuses on those, helping them get their first funding in the first 30 days of their business where you're going to earn that fast start bonus for getting them off to a fast start. But by enrolling other people, getting them started and working the system and having conversations, it helps you develop that skill of becoming a pro with DAC because the more you do and the more you act, the better you get. And also I have found time and time again that when I become the trainer, when I ha count have other people that are counting on me for the right information, it always makes me better. So when you start building an agency and you start working with those new people coming on and they ask you questions that you don't know the answer to, it helps you go, pushes you to go find the right answer and be able to take them through that right information along with you. So it makes you become a pro. But let's take a look at the earnings there when you start developing that agency, right? So uh, when you have a direct agency partner, someone that enrolled through your DAC link, your partner link, then that makes uh, you eligible for revenue share on whatever revenue they personally generate uh, on clients that they bring to the table. So you're going to earn either 0% if you're not engaged, meaning you ha haven't had a personal client in the last two months, you're not eligible for any matching commissions on the revenue of your personally enrolled agents, right? Or if you're engaged, and you have that client, then you earn 
25%. Or if you are amped up, you can earn up to 50% on those personally enrolled agencies. So take a look here at the engaged, qualified by three different ways. One, you're brand new in the business. When you're new, we automatically give you a 60-day grace period where you're considered engaged without having to have a client. So you can come in and start sharing this opportunity with other agents. They get started. They go get clients. You're going to get that 25% match. Or if it's in their first 30 days, you're going to get a 50% match on that first client best start, right? The second way you get engaged is to have a new or renewal client at least in the past 60 days. And that's a rolling 60 day window, right? That is considered engaged. Or the third way and the, the real deal to keep you locked in as engaged is to go find six customer finance clients. When you have six active customer finance clients, you're always considered engaged and you'll never miss out on a matching revenue share commission on a personally enrolled agency. Okay. So those are the three things, but let's take a look at how that would look to you financially and put it into dollars, right? So what if you had 10 direct agency partners that you've enrolled over time? It may take you a hundred agency enrollments to find 10 that are actively going to go seek clients and consistently bring clients to the table. But what if you had 10 partners who were averaging 50,000 in revenue a year, meaning their personal revenue generated or their personal income is 50,000. If you had 10 of those, each generating $50,000 in income a piece, that would be a combined income of 500,000 that you would earn revenue share on. So again, you would earn zero, 25% or 50%. So if you're at zero, nothing of nothing is nothing, right? But if you're at 25%, on that 500,000, that would be $125,000 that you would earn in our revenue share model. And if you were amped up, keeping yourself in that amped up position where you get a client at least every 30 days, I say target one a week. If you did that and you had 10 partners, each generating 50,000 in income each, then your revenue share would be a 50% match at a $250,000 income. Now, in this example, what did you have to do? You had to consistently get a new client a month, right? That's the first thing, staying amped up. The second thing that you have to do is always be on the lookout for sharp, motivated individuals so that you're building a agency network, a direct agency network of people who are like-minded, and are wanting to go help the small business community by sharing our services. So it, that's really how simple it is, okay? So let's walk this through on the override. So do you get full revenue share? Even if, if you're amped up and the agent that you bring on is amped up, yep, your revenue share is double, even if your agency that you referred is earning double. So those same examples on the 10,000, 80, 150, 250, and a half a million, that 3% to 6%, let's take a look at that zero to 25 or 50%. It's going to match up. We're going to say the 50%, then you're going to earn $300 off of the person that's making 10,000, 2,400 off of the 80,000, 4,500 off of the 150,000, 7,500 off of the 250. And if your team is doing a uh, doing five hundred thousand a month in revenue, then you're going to earn fifteen thousand dollars in that matching revenue share. So these numbers, when David put these charts together this way, as he shared with us on Super Saturday, I'm like, wow, I love the messaging here with our DAC agency model. So if you are new to the business, this is nothing new to you. But if you've been with us for several months, several weeks, and you've been hearing us talk about our agent opportunity, we've kind of shifted the message a little bit. We're talking about an agency opportunity because David's been, David Rutz, our founder, has been brainstorming about how we are so different than the other companies in the home-based business industry. And we really are, not only by having a free model and offering services that 
um, are a huge benefit to the business community that pays huge commissions to us. But our model is really, we're all independent businesses with our own agency. And when you build out an agency network of other agencies, then it's like you have a business inside of a business inside of a business inside of a business. So I love the new um, vernacular that he's using here in describing our business, but the visual here on our overrides is amazing in my opinion. So the third thing, the secret to winning in DAC, number one was we go get personal clients. Number two, we start building out an agency. Those are really the two things we do. We find clients of our own and we find other agents who wanna have a DAC agent agency. And number three is we start teaching and duplicating that within our network. So once you think about this, instead of you worrying about your team and people on your team that are recruiting and, and tracking your numbers every day to say, wow, I got 15 new people in my organization, or we just hit a record number for the organization. I want you to focus on the people that you personally enroll. Focus on enrolling those people right, getting them through the training, get them, getting them plugged in. You know, one thing that I track is how many people are growing, how we're growing the numbers here on our weekly Zoom. And we're not consistently growing those numbers. So what that tells me is that we have a lot of people that are signing up every week and they're either not going through the training or they're going through the training, but they are they may go through the training initially and then they're not staying plugged in. Again, being a pro here, you've got to stay plugged in and you've got to do the daily work. I was sitting and listening to the replay of today's leadership Zoom, which I was on it live. I went back and re-listened to part of it. And I was just thinking, I'm going, how many people on my team listen to a DAC video or some type of training about our business on a daily basis? Probably not that many. I know that I'm the, one of the exceptions because I do that every single day. I am immersed in DAC, in our, in our business model, in our business, in the culture of our organization. And that's why I've been able to move through the ranks and get to uh, DAC AD and be the, one, the only one in the company that has achieved that rank. I didn't do that by myself. I did that because of you guys, right? But I did that because I immersed myself in the business and by immersing myself in the business, it started spreading to this one and then to another one and then to another one and then to another one until it starts spreading layers and layers and levels and levels deep in the organization. So if you're not immersed in DAC right now, I encourage you to do that because the deeper you dive into what we're doing and the deeper you dive into who we are, the better we look. We look better from 20 feet deep than we do just looking at the surface. Once you get in and really understand the inner workings and really understand the potential that is here with your DAC business, okay? So um, back to the engaged or not engaged or amped up, let's talk about for those of you that have been here for more than 60 days and you're outside of that engaged window, we have a promotion going through the end of this year. So you can still go actively be building an agency, recruiting other agents, other independent agents, and bringing them on board. And you're going to get paid as if you are actually engaged according to the comp plan. So uh, for those of you that have been here, when you recruit a new agent and they get fundings in their first 30 days, you're going to get paid anyway at that 25% bonus or 50% if it's their first funding in their first 30 days. So just know that's there. There's not a reason that any one of you listening to this should not be sharing the opportunity with others. And the last thing that I want to cover is an announcement that was made today. We have a ridiculous cash bash December to remember launch that starts tomorrow and it's some extra money on the table. Here's how it works. So it, it's a thousand dollar bonus for bank breezy clients. So for if you get a hundred thousand dollars in new bank breezy fundings, this can't be renewals. It has to be new funding. So new clients that have never got funded with us before. Um, all new fundings between November the 23rd and December the 22nd 
of this year, if your total fundings of Bank Breezy clients exceeds $100,000, then you're going to get an extra $1,000 cash bonus over and above the current commission structure, right? So you're going to get all the money that you would have gotten anyway, plus an extra $1,000. Now, we have a $2,500 bonus for $250,000 in total new fundings on the DAC side of the house, two different funding platforms, right? You know that because you've been through a product training. Well, if the total funded value of uh, any type funding exceeds 250000 then you're going to receive $2,500 in cash bonus above and over the commissions that you would normally earn in the compensation plan. If you have $100,000 plus in Bank Breezy fundings and your total funded value of all fundings combined is over $250,000, then you'll receive $3,500 in bonuses. So they're gonna add both of them together. Now, again, renewals don't count for this, but that is a lot of extra money on top of the compensation plan. So if you have been marketing and you've kind of slacked off of it, or if you're thinking about starting to market and how aggressively you should be going after it, I would say that this should be the fire that, should be going in your business right now to get you lit up and get you out there sharing the word about DAC, our funding program and our other services. Uh, and of course the agent opportunity. So that ends my slideshow. I'm gonna take us off of screen share and get us back over here face-to-face. -face. If any of you guys have questions or comments, now's the time to raise your hand. There is a virtual raise hand down at the bottom of the screen there. Um, Harlequin is always good to go in and read the comments from the chat um, while we're waiting to see if anybody has a question. I want to go back and talk real briefly about Saturday's Super Saturday training. Um, this is not going to be a weekly Super Saturday. It was what we call a Super Saturday event, right? That recording is going to be there until it gets replaced with the next Super Saturday or it gets replaced with the next regional event or whatever. But I encourage you to go back, watch it. If you were there live, go back and watch it again. I have my Saturday workbook printed out. I took mental notes and I really appreciate what Dawood said today on the leadership call. He said, you know, I watched the Super Saturday live and I didn't really take notes. I just took it all in listening. He said, now I'm going back and watching the replay with my notebook and I'm taking notes and pausing and really taking what I learned and making notes around the material that's in the handbook and then just having that there kind of as your as your guidebook or as your bible for your DAC business so I encourage you to do that I thought that was a great comment and a great way to look at uh, the note-taking aspect of this but the more you go back and listen, it's like watching a good movie. You can watch it the first time, you're gonna miss pieces of it. You go back and see it again and you catch something the second time that you didn't see the first time. And then the third and the fourth time, when you go back and you repeat, it starts sinking in or something new is triggered or a new thought or a new person comes to mind. So I encourage you to go back and just dive in over and over again, because this is really one of the finest trainings that DAC has put together since I've been here in June of 2018. So really glad to have been a part of that. We had some phenomenal trainers. Um, if you're wanting to know how to build your business through social media, go watch what Shante Roddy taught on our agent of the month interview from Friday. And then the segment that she did in the Super Saturday was just um, masterful. So go look at that information and start putting yourself out there. I know David Rutt said he's been doing things the wrong way. I'm certainly not doing the things that Shantae taught us about. So um, great, great information there is there, there for the taking for those of you that want to get after it. Okay, so anybody, questions, comments, anything in the chat box there, Harlequin, that we need to address? No, nothing in the chat box this time, except for people making comments about Grace and her awesome looking baby. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Congratulations for being yeah. on the leaderboard, Grace. I see you up there at the top of my screen. All right, so. 
she takes away a lot of people's excuses because she also has a couple of other kids. So, you know, I'm proud of her. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, talk about excuses. I see Eugene Clapp is on here tonight. Eugene has a very successful insurance business. And I know this is insurance season for him. So he's being pulled in all different directions, but he's showing up. He's building his team. He's on the leaderboard with the recruiting efforts there. And his team is producing clients, right? I have a very successful limousine business. It has me busier than ever right now, but I'm still showing up. I, I took all Saturday out. I didn't miss a minute of the training on Saturday. And I put time and energy into preparing for it around my business hours with my limousine operation. So uh, for those of you that have busy lives going on, I get it because I do too. Oh, and I'm in the middle of packing up my house to move into a new house in the middle of December. So I got a lot of stuff going on, right? But I'm finding time for what is important for me. And for those of you that find DAC is important, you will find a way to make it work in your schedule or make your schedule work around DAC. That's what I've, I've always had to do. So um, good comment there, Harlequin, with Grace showing up. And I appreciate you all. All right, I see James has his hand raised. So I'm gonna ask you to unmute. How are you doing, James? I'm good, how's everybody? Excellent, excellent. Okay. What do you got yeah, for um, us tonight? Well, I just wanna make a um, quick comment about um, something that um, was profound actually to me on Saturday. Um, I think I've listened to um, everything that Wade has, has done since um, January, 2021. And uh, I didn't realize it until Saturday, but um, his knowledge and his confidence and his ability to deliver that information, it just struck me. And I just wanted to mention that if anyone is, is concerned at all about what goes on when we get applications that go through the pre-qual for DAC, Wade is the person that is doing the communicating with these people or training the people that are helping him. And if you can just, okay, go back through it again. It's only 30 minutes, his, his little section. But if you listen to it with your eyes closed, you actually feel the confidence that's built in his ability to help us get fundings, period. And I just wanted to share that because if we can feel that, it helps. Now, when we've gone through the training, initially the first three, <laughs> okay, you can feel David, okay? You know, eyes closed, eyes open, doesn't matter, okay? <laughs> you can feel that, uh, that um, it's coming from his heart. But it just struck me just listening to Wade's voice and the confidence that it builds. And I just hope everybody got something like that from all of the training. I just, I just wanted to share that. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, James. Great comments. And I love, love, love your laugh, right? I love listening <laughs> to that when you laugh, but you're right on. But, and, and what James is talking about is the training that Wade did called the Red Stuff Matters right? And red stuff is an acronym for the different pieces of our funding process. So I'm not going to get into that. You need to go listen to Wade, but that confidence that, that Wade speaks with is his years of experience in the industry and his years of experience talking with clients and years of experience talking with all of our different lender partners and learning the ins and outs of you know, how the good ones operate and how the bad ones operate. And that's how we have weeded out. We've had over, at one point, we had contracts with over a hundred different companies and little by little, we've whittled it down. We still have contracts with about 50 different lending partners, but all in all, we use about 17 of them on an ongoing basis because they're all responsive and they're the ones that are really aggressively trying to fund our clients. We'll, we'll put different deals out to some of those other partners because it might be a unique niche, niche but um, Wade really knows this stuff. So thank you for those kind words. We, um, we're very blessed with our leadership team. It, 
as a whole between David Rutz, his vision for the company, his passion for what we're doing and his ability to put teams of people together, right? And then Wade with his background and his integrity too. I talked to I talked to Wade numerous times a week and there is never a time that Wade is not the ultimate professional talking about how he's helped a client or helping me with somebody in the team that had a question or he'll call me if if one of you have a client in there then he may not have talked to you but he'll call me and he'll say hey Ellen I've got such and such business um, that's one of your teams right this is, belongs to such and such agent maybe a new agent and I'm going yeah yeah so I jump in and help work through that but Wade is always just out here looking to to help our team, our field force, uh, grow and build a stronger relationship with our clients. And he'll always tell your client the way it is. As David says, he never tries to hammer close anybody. If it's not a good fit for the business owner, we don't want them to take the money. We would rather have them somewhere down the road as a client when it is a good fit than burn them with something that's not going to be a good fit for them in the first place. So good stuff. Good stuff. Glad you were there on the training on Saturday, James. Thank you for showing up. All right, anybody else got a question or a comment or feedback? Eugene Clapp, you need to talk tonight. Man, we missed you talking on our, our agent calls. You got something you wanna share uh, with our team tonight? I would love to hear you just for a minute. Well, you know, first of all, can you hear me? I can, yeah, you look great, yeah. you sound great. Thank you, a little tired, but I'm okay. First of all, I just want to say hello to everybody. And I was on the Super Saturday as well. And let me tell you, this was the second one that I was in attendance. Oh, and it was it was really good. I mean, some good points were brought out. And like James said with Wade, of course, the ones of us who know Wade and who have talked to Wade about funding, we know that he's directing to the point that he pretty much has his finger on the pulse of every funding deal that comes through there, which is incredible if you stop and think about it, with the number of agents we have, and the number of deals that have been done since Bank Breezy has been launched. But I want to encourage all of you all to plug in. I talked to one person on my Renegades team today, and she was telling me that she had two new agents who were interested. I told her, I said, well, you better get cracking and plug in so at least you know the basics and master the basics so you know how to lead them and what to talk to them about. So she told me that she's been busy too because she's an insurance agent as well. So she's been busy with open enrollment, but she says she's taking this week, which is the holiday week, to go, go ahead and kind of back away from that and then dive in and to start to digest some of the information she's receiving from DAC by getting involved with it and looking at the videos again and going to the back office and just talking to people and doing some things. One thing that I do want to reiterate to all of you all, this is a business that you got to fail your way to success. You're not going to be successful out the gate. If you do understand it's by luck because you're going to have to have some failures. I have another team member who, who put something up on our Facebook page, our personal Legendary Renegades Facebook page about how she felt pressure at first when she didn't get somebody right away, but then she realized it was a sprint and she put up a good story about a street sweep and what the street sweeper thought about when they were sweeping the street and how they stayed motivated to do certain things. And it, it was quite profound because I vaguely remember hearing that story before, but I had forgot it because it's been so many years and looking at that. And people, we all learn from each other. You know, all of us have different experiences. All of us have different backgrounds and we have different goals. But at the end of the day, we do have one main goal. And that is to go ahead and help these businesses survive, grow, and thrive. And secondly, I guess it's about making money because I'm sure none of us on here are rich enough to be philanthropists, so we got to make some money for ourselves and our family. But just stay the course. You know, um, nothing worth, ha worth having is easy. So that means there are going to be some difficult times. But one thing about it, the more you do it, the easier it gets because you know the pitfalls to look out for and you know what to say to overcome certain questions and certain attitudes so just stay the course man I, I believe 2022 is going to be a banner year for all of us who work it 
Now, for the ones who are lazy asses, no, it's not going to be a banner year for you. For the ones who complain, no, sorry to say, it's not going to be a banner year for you. But for the ones who are actually working it, you are going to experience success. If you don't give up, and David always says that too, if you don't give up, you will experience success. And basically, that's all I have to say, Ellen, tonight. And uh, I'm sorry I sound a little sleepy, but I am a little sleepy. But hey, I thank you for the opportunity to talk to the group. Yeah, yeah no, no problem. You you can be sleepy, but like I said, you're showing up, man. And I know that your your insurance business is keeping you super busy, but you're always engaged with what's going on here. I commend you for that. And I appreciate your your wise words that you always have to share. So thanks, Eugene. Good to see you. Anybody else before we wrap up tonight? Any questions? Any more feedback in the chat box there, Harlequin? Yep, we got some things in the chat box. Okay. Um, Kevin was asking, where can we find the Saturday replay? Okay, it's on the DAC agent YouTube channel. So if you go to uh, DACYouTube.com, we have that, that domain goes to the channel, DACYouTube.com. And when you're there, if you'll subscribe to the channel, you'll always get the replays there. But everything that we have is now posted to that YouTube on replay. So you can get it there. I'll also have it in the email that I send out with um, the replay link here, which my my Zooms for the team are now going on my YouTube channel. So um, we've got everything that we do in recording and is getting posted so you can watch replays. Good question. Yeah. Okay. And then Grace was asking if we have a list of all of the lending partners. She said it would be great to know who we have on board and who is our competition. And I had actually commented to her about that. Um, you know, sometimes those change, but also we don't want to give away the information to our competition. You know, yeah, because if we if we post it somewhere, the competition is going to see it. Yeah, and, and you're right on with that, Harlequin, that um, sometimes those lenders do change. There have been times in the past when, when I was just getting started, you know, I, I would see a screenshot of some of the names of the lenders that we were that we were using. And Wade said it in a training a long time ago that we don't put that out because we don't want to put out a lender that we're using today and then something happened where we decide that they're not a good fit for our clients because they're their ethics aren't what we what we want and desire for our clients. So we cut them loose if they're not uh, on the up and up with everything. I had a conversation today with a gentleman that's new to the business and is looking at what makes us different, right? He had been talking to a friend of his that's in the mortgage business and looking at some of our rates that are posted on the website. And he's going, man, that's expensive money. So the conversation with his friend was kind of um, calming his excitement a bit. So it was reaching out, but I'm glad he called me so that I could talk it through. And in that talking through the conversation, it's, you know, you got to understand our position in the marketplace. And that's part of being a pro here is know where we stand, where we fit in the marketplace and the value that we bring to the marketplace. No, we're not a great solution for a business owner that has a high, high credit score and has been in business for two years and is doing 250000 a year and can get funding through the bank. We're not a great fit for them unless they need money today and they don't have time to wait on the long, lengthy process that the bank takes to get that money. Then we are a good fit, but we're a wonderful fit for the eight out of 10 business owners that can't get funded through the bank and don't have any other resource other than borrowing money from their savings, from friends or family, or putting a second mortgage on their house, or pulling money out of 401k, like I did when I needed money for my pizza restaurants, right? So you got to know where we stand in the marketplace and where that value is. But great question there, Grace. Um, uh, if, if they're on the top lender list, they're on our list, right? So we all know that um, On Deck is one of the top lenders in this space. We run a lot of stuff through on deck. They don't happen to be one that funds a lot for us because they don't always have the best rates. But if it's a bigger deal, we give on deck an opportunity to bid for that, that business, okay? 
All right. Uh, any other questions there? One thing before we go to one more question, we are not going to be holding a live Friday agent update because of Thanksgiving on Thursday. Uh, we're going to take the day off on Friday. And we'll reconvene on Monday with our normal meetings there. So I wanted to make sure we made that announcement. Okay. Anything else there, Harlequin? Yeah. Um, JC has something in there and I'm not, not exactly sure because part of it, it looks like she started to put something else on there. But it says, now that Bank Breezy instantly gives approved amount, applicants are leaving the application because they actually earn more than 5,000 monthly sales revenue. If it's just to populate that's causing fundings to drop. I've heard back from an agent of mine that wants and that's it. So I'm not sure if she's still on, if she can. Make it breezy instantly. Hey, hello, hello, hello. I'm here. Hey, there you are. Yes, I, I had a agent of mine who was working with a funeral home and they filled out Bank Breezy's application because they did need a large amount to go through DAC. And they were given, I think it was like $4,000 as the approved amount when they filled out the application. So they just left the application and went back to the agent and said, well, if I can only get approved for 4,000 and I make over, 15 or 20,000, I, I don't need the loan. Wow. Yeah. So if they're doing over 15 or 20, Bank Breezy is not the avenue that they should be directed to in the first place, right? They should be going through DAC. And then uh, if you go through Bank Breezy, you've got one lender that's looking at that package. And we all know that that one lender, Bank Breezy, is going to be offering about 75% of whatever they stated as their revenue. Why that would come up at 4,000 if they put 15,000 in, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that business owner didn't did not enter their full amount of monthly revenue. If you're saying that they're doing 15 or 20, but the offer came back at four, something was off on what was entered there, just the way the system is built. Uh, but if they were if they went through DAC funding, then Wade and our team would have gotten that package and would have mm -hmm. submitted it to multiple lenders to get different offers for what that client needed. So um, I'm glad you mentioned Bank Breezy and good to see you on here, too. I know that um, that you've been recovering from surgery. We're glad to see that you're moving forward and doing much better. So glad to see you tonight, JC. Um, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, one thing with Bank Breezy, uh, starting today, if you are doing any type of marketing or you've got ad campaigns or anything out there, we've been seeing applications started after they went through that second page of the, of the app right before bank linking. Well, that's changed. As of today, you're not going to get those notifications until they have successfully done the bank linking. The reason for that is uh, there have been so many that would get to the bank leaking page and weren't actually qualified, meeting our minimum requirement. So it was still creating a lot of app started, app started, where agents are thinking that, okay, I've got all these apps started, nobody's going through, nobody's getting approved. Well, it was creating more um, frustration in the field with agents thinking that our funding program didn't work, but it really wasn't that. It was the applicants that were filling in information on an application page. And then once they got to the bank linking and went through that process where Biddy could see what was actually going on with their accounts and what their actual volumes were versus what was stated, then that changed the whole picture and would put them into a decline. So David decided, let's do this after they've successfully linked the bank account so that we know that we have a legitimate, qualified client in the funnel before that communication gets sent out to the team. So that started today, if you're doing any, any marketing there. Okay, well, I, I've, I haven't gotten any startup applications since we started with Bank Breezy, so I'm not missing out. <laughs> <laughs> and we still don't have those coming to you after getting the email trigger and all that? No, ma'am. 
Wow. <laughs> so I don't know what happened with that one. Well, pardon? Nitric oxide. Oh, you're living proof that um, you don't have to get that notification <laughs> that an application <laughs> has been started to get paid, right? Because you've, you've got Absolutely. over 30 clients. Yeah. Well over that. Yeah, and I got um, three renewals last week. Nice. Yeah, so as those new clients continue filling up, the renewals will automatically continue in the process too. So congratulations on your success. I appreciate the question. Did that answer everything you had, JC? Yes, thank you. Awesome. Okay, thank you very much. All right, anybody else there? I see James has his hand up again. Okay, um, the, the flow between where DAC would be better than Bank Breezy, um, after listening to everything on Saturday, it's not that I was confused, but, um, okay, take the example with the funeral home just now, okay? If she did the bank breezy, got approved for 4,000, that means that somewhere in there, they're showing with the, with the bank um, linking that um, for the last three months, basically she's doing like eight, nine or 10,000 each month with the bank, but she wanted more. Well, in order for her to go to DAC and do the prequal, the prequal and the amount of information that a person has to put there to put in there and the, and the amount of information that is needed for, uh, for waiting them to do what they do. If that person, that same person could qualify at bank breezy for the four grand, but they didn't necessarily want to give all that information that's necessary for the prequal at DAC. And then we don't get any messaging coming to us as to what went on over at Bank Breezy. My question is, okay, how, how would I have it smooth in my mind other than the um, vetting that you do, Ellen, to get that person from Bank Breezy comfortably into DAC just to see what DAC can do for them since they want more than 4,000? Right, so that, that's a good question. First off, you'd have to know who that client is, right? If, if we're not getting notified and even when we were getting notified that an app was started, we weren't getting that contact information until they had gone through uh, the requesting a contract, right? So it'd have to be a warm market person that you know that's reaching out. And in this case, that was that was a war market person that JC is referencing for the agent that was talking to the client, the funeral home. Um, I believe just from what was stated that I think wrong information was put in because if, if the client is saying we're doing 15 to 20 a month, but they're only offering me four, that would have come before the bank linking right? Because that didn't start until today, that bank linking notification, that could have very easily happened before the bank linking, and they're just going off of whatever was punched into the system. Um, so there's not a real good answer for that, James, unless it is somebody that you know. And then for me, anytime I've got someone that I'm sending a link to, I never just send them a link. I talk to them, and as you say, vetting that client, I ask them a few questions to determine which platform I want to send them through, right? And I tell them up front, hey, we've got a couple of different funding platforms. Let me ask you a little bit about your business so that I'm pointing you to the right information. So that's really the best solution there is to talk it through with them. But if you don't know who it is and you don't have that client's uh, contact information on the backside of it, Biddy is going to reach out. They have automated emails. They have automatic text messages that go out on your behalf. In fact, last week, David said we had two or three that were funded in that one day that Biddy had been dripping on for over a month. So they'll come through that process eventually through that drip process, but that's really um, the only reach out that we have for that client. 
yeah, the, yeah. Um, okay, I understand that um, clearly for myself, um, but I just kind of wanted to, you know, just throw that out there so that you could uh, elaborate on it. But yeah. now, the other thing, thank you. The other thing that that crosses my mind is okay, if we've learned how to comfortably use um, the conversation that goes with your vetting. We don't have this, <clears throat> excuse me, we don't have this client as a warm market, so we don't, you know, have this warm and fuzzy feeling going on. But let's say that <laughs> on the um, December push that we're getting, okay, everybody's out there pounding it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, a lot of people are asking for um, um, 20 and up or 15 and up kind of thing. And um, we've got the information that that looks pretty good. Now, the amount of manual things that have to go on with DAC, can that create um, kind of like a, you know, a, a, a problem with the volume of stuff that we're putting on them because they got to do more manual stuff other than just doing the online with DAC if we're doing, I mean, uh, with Bank Breezy, if we're doing a lot of volume that way with those amounts that they're requesting, because a lot of that has to do with the amount of paperwork that's gotta be done. Plus, after all that paperwork is done, if we're still getting X amount of declines for whatever the reason is, I'm just wondering if that extra manual overload would be a problem. No, it won't be a problem. Um, what what does happen is we end up with a lot of people that don't qualify for that, that go through that. And then that kind of clogs up the system. It doesn't create a problem. It just slows down some of the processing of legitimate applications. So um, in that, Wade announced that if someone goes through Bank Breezy and they actually qualify for that 20,000 or more, because they have higher revenue, it's automatically going to trigger a notification to the DAC funding team so that they can look at that file and reach out and get multiple lenders working on it. So you can still take them through. If, if you're doing any cold market advertising and you're not actually creating a conversation with your client firsthand, you need to be taking them through that Bank Breezy page. Now, again, I'll tell you guys, I don't use the Bank Breezy URL. I don't use bankbreezy.com forward slash my ID. I use the Bank Breezy tab of the David Allen Capital website. You know, the one that says 25K, get 20 up to 25K today. I use that tab. So it's davidallencapital.com forward slash up to 25K forward slash my ID number. That is the page that I market. So I'm marketing the Bank Breezy product, but I'm using the David Allen Capital link to take them to Bank Breezy, simply because Google and some of these other search engines do not like the Bank Breezy URL. They say that we're advertising as a bank when we're not a bank. So that I've had that conversation many times. Um, what I do have here, James, I've pulled up the, um, the PDF from the Agent Resource Center, and I'll share my screen for a minute. For the, I know a lot of times your questions are for other agents and new agents, and I appreciate that where you've got that training hat on. So remind everyone that this uh, PDF, this side-by-side -side PDF is available under number one, under the Agent Resource Center. The first section there is business funding, and number one is this PDF. So it takes you through what the basics are of each of our funding products. So you go through the training, you take notes there, but this one page PDF allows you to have everything right in front of you. And back to James's reference of me vetting someone, I just go through a few simple questions. You know, I say, okay, what type of industry are you in? How much are you doing a month in revenue? Are you operating through a business checking account? Do you have, a, a, are you operating as a business entity using an EIN number? Or are you operating through uh, your social security number? And how much money is it that you're looking for? Those are the basic questions that I always ask. That way, you know, if they're only looking for 5,000, yet they might be doing 
20,000, I'm gonna send them through Bank Breezy because anything that is less than 15,000 in funding or less than 10,000 in funding, it's gonna come from Bank Breezy anyway. None of our lenders are going to offer on a package that's less than a $10,000 funded amount. So no matter what their monthly revenue is, I look at how much they're wanting to get, right? To help determine which product I send them through. Um, the other piece, it really just depends on a, a part of them knowing how much they need. If they're doing 15,000 a month and they're looking for 25, they're not gonna get it through Bank Breezy, right? Cause they're only gonna qualify for about 75% right here, the, this line at the top, 75% of the revenue. So if they're doing 15 and they need 25, then Bank Breezy, they can qualify, I mean, uh, David Allen Capital, they can qualify for one to two times. So if they're doing 15, then qualify for 15 to 30 in that range. So just have to know that product, know the parameters. But once you get those basics down and you learn to ask those basic questions, it really is just kind of checking off the box and go, okay, yes, yes, yes. All right, this is where they need to go, right? That's all there is to that. So thank you for your comments and your questions, James. I'm going to get us off of screen share, back face okay. to face. Okay, Anybody I see else? it. Go ahead. Yeah, I, yeah, I see it now, Alan. Uh, uh, Ellen. Okay, um, I'm clear on, on my question for myself. Okay, let's go back to the funeral home. <clears throat> In the course of that conversation, the person has seen the qualifications for bank breezy. If the conversation shows that the person wants more, then if they use the, the uh, bank breezy tab, tab, like you just mentioned, or if they click the link at the bottom of the bank breezy page, when they get to the prequal over there in DAC, Mm -hmm. it, show, it shows 20,000 right there on the page. So a person is, is now able to go into the conversation as 20,000 being a minimum for this program that we have over here, is that what you're doing in the last 90 days? And what was your lowest in the last 90 days in um, relationship to 20,000 a month minimum in order to go forward? Clear as the nose on my face anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. How you can, yeah, how you can go from that to that. But Wade said the same thing um, doing the uh, red stuff Saturday. But what you said just now, a person has to understand where they lead the lead to. If you have led them to Bank Breezy page, okay, it's a little bit trickier to get to the DAC side. But if you've led them to your Bank Breezy tab, on your DAC site, then it's just another link right there at the top and you can get right to the, to the um, pre-qual form, but just know where you are and how to get to where you need to get to and you'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. Fine. Yeah, and um, back to, I'm, I've pulled this up. I'm gonna share my screen again for that conversation that, that you just shared on using the tab on the website rather than bankbreezy.com. So I'm gonna pull up Bank Breezy. Let me type this in. Well, it would help if I could type. <laughs> there we go, Bank Breezy. All right, so I'm opening up my Bank Breezy site and the information on the page is exactly the same with Bank Breezy as it is over here on my David Allen Capital page that markets Bank Breezy. The icons are a little bit different, but I can go back and forth between the two. Obviously, the image is larger on the Bank Breezy page, but how does it work? Get up to 25K today. They're very similar. Um, same information, just they're going to go to the same place, right? But the one thing that I really like about using the up to 25K Today tab is that it shows the DAC logo up here. If you're on bankbreezy.com, there's nothing, no mention whatsoever about DAC. And I know that is by design. I don't know the exact reason, but I know that was done by design. The only mention of David Allen Capital is here at the footer. Or if you click on the learn more on need more than 25K, then it takes you over to David Allen Capital. But I like the fact that DAC is 
already branded on using this tab of the website. I have my DAC independent agent logo in my signature on my emails. You guys are starting to see that on the emails I send out to the team. And I just think the branding message for me personally is better using this page rather than the one that just says Bank Breezy initially, unless they click that page. I don't, I think it feels more natural using this tab and doesn't feel like a bait and switch. If you have them going to Bank Breezy and that's all they see and then they click on this other one and it goes over to David Allen Capital, it's like, okay, Bank Breezy, now I'm over on David Allen Capital. Are these two different companies? Are they the same? So that's another part of the messaging that I really like on using that tab of the David Allen Capital site. Plus I'm in, I'm in hopes that while they're there looking at that, that they're gonna see customer financing, payment processing, that we offer these other services that they will never see if they're on Bank Breezy unless they click on the need more than 25K today because those services aren't covered. So just a little bit of thought there on why I use that page. Again, thank you, James, for your feedback and your comments. Okay, uh, well, well, uh, well, one other quick thing, if I might. Okay. Can you uh, can you bring that tab back up again? I can. The uh, bank breezy. Um, no, the other one. The tab. Twenty five k. There we go, right there. Okay, now scroll down just a little bit and show the um oh, right there, right there. Okay, now this this is just a suggestion to maybe help people that might get stuck. In the set in the in the fourth column there where it says get more when needed, mm -hmm. payment history earns you more, receive funding again, add on funds available, personal personalized account manager. Now, I believe if we ask ourselves a question, we're dealing with small businesses, right? We're right. dealing with we, we're dealing with people that probably do not have at their bank a personal account manager. Correct. They probably don't have that. So for them to see that, and that's what we offer, okay? We offer what we can do, immediate um, uh, approvals, same day cash, all of that, okay? And you also get, Mr. Uh, uh, business owner, okay? Your own account manager. Now, to me, to say to a business owner, you have an account manager that allows me to put a lot of things on the account manager if I'm so new that I don't know a whole lot to say. So when they're asking about rates, I can refer them to the account manager that they have will take care of all those details because rates are in a flux mm -hmm. <laughs> all the time. So depending on the information that you provide to us, because we do need accurate, verifiable information, okay? Your account manager that you're going to have for your account that's going to help you go forward can handle all that for you. So I'll leave you to it, and they could be right into the <laughs> they could be right into the app right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But that, but that account manager person, I believe, for the average small business owner out there, is important because we are the contact person. We're not the agent that is giving you all the details and doing all these things, but your account manager can handle all those for you. And in order for you to get to that point, we have the um, instant approval online form, bang, 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 boom, we're, we're done. It's, it's beautiful, it's, it's beautiful. It is. Okay, it is. I'm done, okay, and, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, okay, and to add on to what you said though, James, I like it because you're using this personalized account manager here for the benefit of the business owner that they have a contact person. You know, I've always liked the, the feel of a small, small town, small community bank, because after you go in a, a couple of times, they know who you are. You know, the, the old, the sitcom cheers, everybody likes to go where people know your name. Same thing with banking. It's nice to walk in and you walk in the door and they go, hey, Miss Wynn, how are you today? You know you have someone that is going to cater to your needs. So that personalized account manager does that here through the Bank Breezy process. But as you're alluding to, as a new agent, not always knowing the answers to the questions, even though we have the cheat sheet that we referenced a minute ago, 
Um, even when I know the answers, I don't give the answers directly to the client. I say, those are great questions. And we have a range of what your, um, your payback options are and the cost of that funding. But it really depends on a lot of variables. And that's going to be handled by our underwriting team. So if you don't know the word and can't remember the word underwriting team, like James says, you can point it back to once you have filled this out online, you're going to have a personalized account manager and they'll be the one that is helping you go through all of the details and they'll be the ones presenting the offer back to you. It'll be written to written in your contract as to what those are, but the initial offer will be presented to you there online. You'll have your full payback, your early payback and your midterm payback options on the cost of that. So one other thing while I'm on the screen again, showing the comparison that these two pages are essentially the same. I'm on Bank Breezy right now, but if I go to David Allen Capital, if I scroll on down the page, um, if they're on a mobile device, they're not gonna see all of these other tabs, right? As you're seeing from a desktop tonight, but on a mobile, it's just gonna show them that one tab. So this takes them down and, and takes it through a nice easy way to get them over to the larger working capital just like it does if they're over here on the Bank Breezy page. So David did a good job bringing that back around. I, I know he had uh, some comments from a couple of my team members that pointed out some things and he's always open to suggestions. So if you see something on our website that you think would make the flow a little bit better and easier, um, either reach out to me and let me know or send a message over to David. He's always open to hearing back from the field. All right. Thank you again, James. Anybody else with questions or comments before we wrap up tonight? All right, we covered no meeting on yes, Friday. Yes. Yeah, yeah, what you got, Eugene? This is Eugene. Yeah, let, let's not forget too that in the Saturday training, Wade said that he and his team will be looking at those applications for bank reasons of 15,000 and above, and they'll be looking at them to determine if they're better to take over to the DAC site. So James, in listening to what you were saying and answering those questions too, don't lose sight of the fact that what you said about Wade and what he knows, and if he said that's gonna be done, you can pretty much bet your bottom dollar they're gonna be looking at those applications through Bank Reason with 15,000, 20,000, 25,000 they're trying to get because of the fact that Bank Breezy only gives 75%, whereas with the DAC side, they can get what they're asking for and possibly more. So that's gonna also help us out too. As a matter of fact, the Wade and his team are gonna be taking a closer look at the ones that go through Bank Breezy with those high numbers. Absolutely. And that helps us that that those of us that are doing online advertising campaigns, that helps us to continue using that Bank Breezy page right, whether it's on the DAC site or bankbreezy.com, whichever one you're using, using that as your lead tool. And then if you get a larger funding that's going through that, it's automatically gonna pass over. So they're doing that to uh, increase the number of packages that come through that are qualified for DAC to give that client more options. And they're also doing that to keep it streamlined so that we're advertising and marketing that automated system of Bank Breezy to keep that funnel nice and clean. And then they'll pull the ones out that, that should have flowed over to DAC anyway. But again, if I ever have the conversation to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the business owner, I ask them and I point them to the right funnel to begin with. But most of us are, are doing that online or posting on social media. So the client has to determine which direction to go. So yeah, great comments there, Eugene. Thank you for that. All right, anybody else? Harlequin, you got anything to wrap us up with? Yeah, um, Sherry was asking about Wednesday being um, a Zoom, but it, David's only gonna be in, he was going to do a web or a video announcing the new promotion, but um, that was done today instead. So he's probably just gonna do a holiday video. But it will be a video. It won't be a Zoom. He'll, pop, yeah. he'll probably yeah. be in his car on the way to his boat <laughs> filming the video for us. <laughs> probably, probably. Yeah. Now, um, one thing I wanted to point out, um, I don't know if you guys can see this. 
try and do this. There you go. Yep. Um, just a reminder for people that we have this promotion still going on. It's the preferred client plan, which this fits in tremendously with that new cash bash because um, you know anybody in construction, contractors, landscaping, retail, e-commerce, medical, accounting, manufacturing, wholesale, all of those, um, now is their busy time. And now is when they need funding to accomplish those goals. And they get no closing costs until the end of the month or until the end of the year, I mean. So, um, I know I had one of my personally sponsored agents had a construction company submit for funding today. So, um, you know, that no closing costs is a, that's a biggie. So you know, Harlequin, you've got that flyer and it's an informational piece that you can market with, but as an agent, do you have to know all the ins and outs of how that program works and have to know the questions to ask a business owner to see if they qualify. Do you have to do that? No, because here on the bottom it says how to qualify. You can okay. give this to the client. Yeah. And so even, yeah. even if if you don't even know about that, our internal team at DAC is going to take an applicant and those that qualify, that meet that qualification, they're going to put them in that funnel over here and they're going to present it to Absolutely. that lender for that. So you don't have to know the details. Go pull down that flyer if you want to market it, but you don't have to know the details. Don't sweat it. Don't try to figure out to sift and sort through your clients and try to figure out which program they fit through on that. And see, all you're looking at is the revenue. If they meet revenue for Bank Breezy only, go to Bank Breezy. If they meet the higher revenue with DAC, go to DAC. And then our DAC team will pull those out that qualify for that promotion. So awesome. Yeah. Thanks for a reminder on that as well. All right, guys, yeah. any one last opportunity to raise your hand? I don't see anybody with hands raised tonight. Um, let's get the word out. You know, once I get through my move here in the next, gosh, it's coming up in like two and a half weeks. Once I get moved, and I've got some of this weight lifted off of me. Um, I'm really going to be ramping up what I'm doing with our texting platform and doing daily communication. I'm really going to be sifting and sorting to see who it is on the team that's really wanting to get out there and get after it. So uh, I encourage you to get your people plugged into my texting platform. Hit the join button, text to the 770 number. And let's get that number, that the number of people on that platform filled up because we're going to start doing some really cool stuff with that messaging and seeing who it is that we're going to be running with. Because there are a lot of people on this call tonight that are going to be making significant six figure incomes in the year 2022 just by being plugged in and by continuing on what you have started building here this year it's going to carry into 2022 and it's going to be an amazing ride so um, look forward to seeing you guys as we move towards that hope you all have a very happy and blessed thanksgiving and we will see you next monday on our leadership calls have a great rest of the week everyone good night thanksgiving everybody happy thanksgiving happy 